Hey guys, I've been asked to demonstrate how to pull the codes from a 90 to 95 300ZX. Um, lucky for you guys, I bought another Z. This one has plenty of issues, so I'm going to be making more videos along the way. Um, so, it's very straightforward. There's two ways to do it. And the way that I prefer to do it is super easy, straight through the console port. You don't have to um, pull out the floorboard by the ECU or anything like that. All you need is a little wire or paper clip or anything with you know two leads that are flexible enough to short out the console port. And this is basically turning the potentiometer um, as if you were doing it on the ECU, but you're doing it at the console port, which is much easier. So, all you need to do, um, first thing is turn your ignition on. Let me get the key here. Lucky for me, it came with the titanium key. My other one didn't. So you just need to turn it to the on position there. Not sure how well you can see that. Not very well, I'm sure. Uh, but, you know, you get all your dash lights coming on. And so this is basically ECU is on. You need to go under by the clutch pedal or the dead pedal. And underneath here, let me get a light. So now that you're down here, here's the hood latch. Right by the hood latch, if you look up, there's a gray port right here that my finger's on. Uh, this commonly comes off the little bracket. Um, I've seen maybe even 50% of Z's don't have this on the metal tab anymore. So you might have to search a little bit, but all Z's have them, even 96. Um, you're going to take your wire or paper clip or some sort of uh, tool to short out the connectors. Um, you're going to orient the clip so that you have the flat side on the bottom. And there's the other side has a, like a taper at the top. Should be very obvious once you get your head down there. And you're going to short out two pins. I'll just throw up a diagram so that they, there's no questions here. You're going to short them out for about one second. Pull it out. Check on the dash. Your check engine light is now blinking. So it's going to keep repeating these codes. This is the check engine codes until you turn your key back into the off position. Okay, so I have code 13 right there, and then I have code 51. That'll keep repeating until you turn the key back into the off position and resetting the ECU.